hello i decided to make this quick video on this power system um, that is normally used for solar system and charging batteries and most of the times they come up in high current um, 20 amps 30 amps um, so, um, they, they normally go by the name mttp okay so i decided to make a simple design for people at home to experiment with high current um, with uh, normal ic's and then power regulators we have around started at 78 12 the mj 11016 uh, which you can easily replace with the tip 3055 it depends on the amount of current you want to you want to get to okay all right so over here um we have a b1 of 36 volt um i'm using that to represent <coughs> sorry i'm using that to represent uh, the pv that's a solar panel and we see it going through a full wave um, bridge there the reason why we have that one there is um, so in case uh, um, the polarities of the um, solar panel is isn't changed um, it doesn't affect the whole system so it doesn't matter where you put um, positive or negative any of them um, is going to auto correct itself and it's going to power the system that's a very good way right so uh we we continue we come here we have r5 we have q5 here some capacitors here basically what we're going to use we're going to use the q5 here to boost up the current so we can drive the transistors q1 and q2 because initially when i designed without that i realized that uh, we were running out of current which was not able to give us the amount of current that our output so um we decided to boost the current with with this pnp um transistor here so from there we have the voltage regulator basically what it's doing is um it's only giving us a reference voltage we need so if you want to design a system for five volts you are going to replace that one with 7805 for six volts 7806 it's just the reference voltage it does not give any amount of current all currents we have is going to come from the sun from the pv which is going to be fed in, into the power transistors we have here okay the diodes we see in array here are done so that uh, we can achieve more voltage at the output of the 7812 um, because basically with 7812 it gives us a, um, a typical output of um, 12 that is um, if it's reference to ground so what we are doing is that we are putting some um, voltage difference um, of it being at zero um, each diode is going to represent um, a 0 0.6 to about 0 0.7 so by four of those ones there uh, that should give us quite a number of like about up to almost like um, 3 volts so 3 added to 12 that should give us about 15 volts at our output instead of the usual 12 volts um, it's a trick um, that um, I found out uh, and I realized a lot of guys have used on the internet as well so I knew it's something which is working okay so I have a capacitor here uh, which is also going to do some filtering in case there's some instability in the system of overload or anything where we have some reports being generated these capacitors are going to take care of all those ones okay so what we have next here is uh, we have two power transistors which are placed in parallel um, basically each transistor um, can carry up to a maximum of 30 amps so making the two of them in parallel giving us up to a maximum of 60 amps um, but then it will not be advisable for us to run 60 amps uh, the best to do is to do 30 amps um for that but um all the same uh, it will not be the best to do maximum current of uh, 30 amps for the transistor so we're just going to do two tests of it that's about 20 amps and that should be enough to charge a, a 200 amp hour battery within the within um i, I think it's going to be about 10 hours yes and whatever you want to use that one for you can go ahead at that so <coughs> we're expecting an output voltage of about 14 volts because uh when we come down through q1 and then q2 here we are expecting to drop about uh, 1.4 volts but it's not exactly going to be 1.4 because of the, the diode in the transistors uh, we are going to have a, a, a voltage drop of about uh, 0 0.6 to 0 0.7 so times is going to be 1.2 1.4 about so taking that from 15 should bring us to about 13 
but uh, due to compensation we normally have no load above at our, at our 14. so um we have under capacitor here for filtering we have this led to indicate that the system's on and then we have this this small transistor here is basically a switch for our load and then we have this mosfet here which can also handle up to a maximum of 30 amps <coughs> yes so uh, we have all components placed in um, all components in place and our r9 here we're going to use that one to simulate our load currently i have r9 to be 0 0.5 so if i am on no load uh, which i'm going to put on no load now and uh, we're going to see the voltage we'll be reading and you will see we're reading about 14 volts that's no load when we take the load off uh, when we shut down the system we should see about 14 volts okay so 14 volts um into 0 0.5 how much current do you think we will be doing um, using ohm's law v is equal to i r so we can determine i if we know v and we know r so i is going to be v over r and we have 14 14 volts divided by 0 0.5 have my calculator here uh, 14 divided by 0 0.5 uh, that's about 28 amps so let's see if you're going to get 28 amps um, being being drawn out so currently it's off we're going to turn it on and we can see as soon as we turn on the voltage dropped to about 13.5 that should tell you that uh, we have load on system but then this is enough uh, to still charge your battery whilst you have a load on or if this is purposely a battery it's you to charge your battery so we're going to look at the readings of the load and we can see there the load is reading about 24 amps uh, because we had a drop to 13.5 so 13.5 sorry 13.5 divided by 0 0.5 yeah that's about 27 amps but uh we're gonna have some current being drawn by r4 here and some current being drawn by the transistor here as well and you can see this it, even though it draws a little, little amount of current this guy's gonna draw a little amount of current um, we can see that it's drawing only up to 34 pico arms. Uh, this is also drawing uh, 75 pico arms. So um, basically, we have our system working, and this guy can give us up to 24 arms, and we are still stable. So um, if you're out there and you want to try out um, any of the system, uh, you are good to go. Uh, make sure you don't exceed uh, 20 arms. And this is for presentation purpose. So you see me going up to 24 we should tell you that um, 20 amps should be fine enough for your system please please don't exceed 20 amps it's going to be dangerous thank you for watching and if you have any questions about the schematic uh send me an email and i'll get back to you soon bye